music is just too good. I'm glad I had this uh, recommendation. Okay, I ground down the welds up to where I have to be, right at this edge. So I'm going to start putting the Ritchie clamps back here. I'm going to pinch it right around where the thickness of the support is. Give it a pinch there. Then I'm going to come with my big clamps and give it like a squeeze right at the low spot. And I think what I'm going to try is, I'll give it a shot, I'm going to give it just a little sappy heat and let it cool slowly. See if it retains that spot. So... That's what I was thinking the other day, is if I, if I keep shrinking all this, this is going to start coming this way, big time. So I agree i got to shrink right here, but i got to be careful what I do here. Bringing it back out, I push it that way and keep it to where it's supposed to be. i got to be very careful. I'm going to wind up with a gap that's like this wide over here. So, okay, I'm going to try this. Do my best to keep you in frame. Uh, oh, by the way, Monday I will be digging out the tripod. I was given, I don't know, half a dozen records or so, maybe a little bit more. Crystal clear, clean, pristine 1970, not 1978, 78 RPM records. Christmas songs. Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, White Christmas, Silent Night. Because I want to do a, a series using my Victrola which I'm going to take out from where it is, spin it around so you guys can see it. So I had done a couple of songs years ago. I had done, uh, uh, I know I did Oh My Doll and Clementine, which was brutal. And I did uh, White Christmas, I think it was, with Bing Crosby. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do a series of them, but they're going to be one song per video. So if anybody wants to, you know, watch them during the holidays or whatever it is. So on Monday you'll probably see like six, seven, eight videos come in a row that are all going to be short. So maybe I'll do a, a thing where I can group them all together too. So. Well, I took a little break from the camera for a few minutes. Oh man, my nose is running, even though I had the mask on. I uh, trimmed down that piece of rod and put it behind here and I... Tacked it, tacked it, tacked it, tacked it, just to stiffen up the fender. That's how stiff it is without even a stay in it. This time I bolted the fender on, I put the bolt over here that belongs. So that's right now. And that actually lifts the fender so it gets my body lines right. Except for that little dippity thing there, but that's the way they are. I ground down most of the weld. Okay, I didn't grind it to the point where it's like metal finished, but I ground down the majority of it all around and I ground down a lot of the paint up to there okay um, I just want to try and shrink this little area here okay because this I got decent still down just a wee bit right there but nothing that I'm uh, gonna worry any more about because I think I'm starting to cause more damage than good you know in some areas uh, fender does line up pretty well I know you can't tell from the video, but when I rub my hand, I still think there is definitely a high spot right here in this welded area. And actually, here's fine, so it's just like right here. So I'm going to try and pull that weld in just a little bit. And if I can get that in, at this point, I'm going to call this thing done. Um, as you see, when I sanded, sanded with 50 grit, which smoothed it down as it went along but I got no near the edges of anything because that'll just grind the edge right off it even when I got to around here see that rub that right there now got no wind near any of the edges with that so I'm gonna try to see what we get okay I wound up heating it right here right here right here Oops, right here, right here, right here. 
and cooling it and shrinking it real quick with water. And I actually checked this thing. This thing is straight on its flat side. So I still got a little tiny low spot down in there. That's good. A little whoop, but it was crazy before. It was just like rocking. Then as you go down from like here to like here, there's a definite low spot in here where it warped in a little. You know what? I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I don't want to do more harm than good. I'd rather have a, a bit more little bondo there. Like I said, maybe this is what separates me from a professional. I really don't know. You know, like I said, there was too much cut out in this fender to hope I would keep any of the rigidity to it. You know, or the, the straightness right here. So, but this is this is all good here, from what I could tell. You know, time's gonna tell when I start to bondo it up. You know what I'm saying? I start to get a sharp line right here. I know it's high. What I was thinking of doing was actually going down the side, slipping a piece of paper on the original fender and tracing it onto a piece of oak tag and sliding it across, like when you make plaster moldings in an old house, just to have a rough idea, not of any low spots here, just to make sure I don't have too much of a crown here, you know what I mean? Because if you're saying that then you come across a body line you put in it and then come across, there's, there's no fixing that like that, you gotta shrink it out, so, I don't know, did I get the hot part done? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's took a lot of work out of us. A lot. So, I'm sure in another half hour the whole fender will be stripped with a DA. I gotta work on pushing this out. And uh, I wanna make a fender stay still. Even though I stiffened the, the hell out of the fender there. So, got my body gap to the way it was. Flusher than it ever was with this fender to anything I've ever owned. There's definitely a thing here where it's a hair bit higher from like here to here. That's the way it is. I can't change that shape on either one. But I actually got it better than it was. So, with that, I'm saying to myself, this is the best I can get the metal work. Maybe I could tweak little areas here and there, pull stuff out and do whatever, but I think I'm, uh, I mean, there's more grinding and touching up to do, but this is it. I ain't heating, shrinking, expanding. We're doing any more other than maybe a little more hammer and dolly work. Uh, that's about it, you know, get these little dingy things out and straighten out a couple areas. But the bottom of the patch, I trimmed it flush when I had it off before. I ground all down there. I welded that little triangular area. Put the spoon behind it. Ground that down. So, that's going to be it anybody has any comments about it when I bring it to cruise night you'll see their face impression right here <laughs> Woo. Nah, I'm a calm guy you're right okay that's it for today guys